the Keene State Owls came to town on Saturday to take on the Warriors, who were looking to end a two-game home losing streak and get back on track in the Little East Conference. And they came out strong early by dominating the paint. You'll see Sabrina Lemire miss the shot, and then Maya Villard cleans up the mess and finishes the layup. And shortly after, Julie Jordan going baseline, finding Villard with her toes on the free throw line, and she's not missing that. Later, it's Jordan creating offense again, feeding Villard down low, count it, and the foul. A couple possessions later, and Anna Barry gets in on the fun as she lays that one up and in. Then on the fast break, Sabrina Lemire changes direction and goes up with the left hand for the easy two. And how about Anna Barry one more time, the bucket and the foul. Warriors controlling the paint all night long. 28 of their points came from inside, and you can see how well they spread it around. Villard and Santagata with eight, Barry right behind them with six. But that wasn't all, as they had the hot hand from outside as well. Villard will kick it out for Sarantino, who knocks down the three. And then Sarantino again, catch and shoot in the corner, bang. And how about Julie Keckler? She'll dribble to her spot, pull up, and connect. A great shooting night all around for the Warriors as they were well above their season average from downtown, shooting 33%. And they actually defended the three ball just as well, holding Keene State to 27% from deep. Final score in this one, Warriors 60, Keene State 44. The Warriors next game will be on Wednesday when they hit the road to take on UMass Dartmouth before returning home on Saturday to take on Rhode Island College.